everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome into my studio. And uh, today I have a Dollarama haul for you. If you are new here, uh, please remember to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below in the below the description there. And um, or at the end makes in the corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post one of these haul videos or one of my many crafty videos or craft product review videos. So today I have, like I said, a Dollarama haul. I went to Dollarama yesterday. And by the way, just so you know, following uh, filming this video, I have some other videos to film. I did also go to Dollar Tree today, so I will be filming that. And I have another video after that that I want to film about um, some products that I got at Creativation that I've been working on and basically a little update of to exactly what I've been doing and a little bit of a product review and a little bit yeah so so i've got some other stuff planned so i'll be wearing the exact same clothes and the scenery will be the same unless the snowstorm begins during filming because we're expecting uh apparently a massive snowstorm the radio announcers are joking that it's going to be snowmageddon. Um, we just like to poke, sorry, us Canadians, we like to poke fun at American uh, weather newscasts. When you get a sprinkle of snow, it's like a snowmageddon. So for us, we're really going to get hit with uh, a lot of snow in the Ottawa area. And it's bloody cold. It's not just really cold. It's not just freezing. It's bloody freaking cold, okay? Uh, let's face it. It's awful out there. So, yeah. So, I'm not going anywhere for the next two days. Uh, unfortunately, my husband does. <laughs> he has to go to work. And everybody else has to go, you know, to their jobs and stuff. But I'm working from home. Yay! <laughs> so, I get to stay here inside the house where it's warm. So, no more blah blah. Here we go. So, I went to Dollarama. I had to buy some boring, boring garbage bags and soap and ugh, that kind of stuff. And I'm not showing you that because that's really boring and it just reminds me that I do have to apparently clean sometimes. So, what I did find that was fun was this felt letter board. Um, home deco it is made of felt and I'm showing you the packaging so in case you go to the store and you want to see this you want to you're going to look for this home deco four dollars felt board comes with 145 yes 145 of the little plastic letters i'm going to open it up so uh, you can see better what it is so it's one of those boards it's a nice felt it's a nice wooden wooden frame uh, it's got a hook on the back and it has all these plastic letters like I said 145 and they have the little teeth there on the back I don't know if you can see that there yeah so you just kind of stick them there like that you know little into the grooves in the felt so it's kind of like um one of those, not a billboard, but, you know, stores will have these to in a restaurant maybe for a menu so they can just move the little plastic letters and numbers. Uh, yeah, so it's that kind of little, little notice board. I thought that was really cute, and I know a lot of you will be like, oh, that's so cool, I have to get that. So $4 for that. I thought that was a really good price. Now... Another fun crafty item that finally I see at my Dollarama. I believe Stacy, you're the one who told me about this sequin, um, the two-way sequin, or you said something about reverse sequin. But I think this this might be what you were you were referring to. If not, well, this is what I found. This is new at my Dollarama two-way sequin ribbon. So this is what it looks like. So see, it's the kind that changes, you know, when you kind of like those boxes that a lot of people were buying. It's 
purses and pillows so the little sequins change color you know depending which way you touch them and all that so this one is blue and purple this one is like the fuchsia color and silver there was a silver and red there's this like teal and silver uh, oh, gold and black which I thought was really nifty and uh, blue this royal blue and silver so this this reminds me of like a, a mermaid's tail you know or fish scales that's what uh, it reminds me of so this is you know for all our crafting and if you're wondering if you can sew this on yes there is a trick it's not easy to sew sequin ribbon or fabric but it is possible but it does involve clipping off uh, a couple rows or maybe more rows of sequins along where you will be sewing and to have uh, fabric for your seam so it's, it's tedious but if you have the intention of sewing this to something it is possible and if you want it and you and your intention is to use a sewing machine then you will have to you should really cut away the sequins um, that you will be sewing where you'll be sewing because you don't want to break this needle of the sewing machine or damage your sewing machine so yeah so that's what that's my tip for you today so I picked up this little this little Halloween <laughs> I was gonna say Halloween Valentine's Day bag that's gonna be for hubby and I got it because it was very nice so it's black with gold and I just thought it looks kind of masculine you know and so I'm gonna be putting some candy in there for him and here's some candy that I bought for him this is and the, the bag I think was a dollar twenty five did I say the sequins? The sequins are $2 a roll. So I got this bag of chocolate hearts. Some have caramel, some have uh, fudge, some have double crisp, and others are cookies and cream. And it's a 400 gram bag for $3.50. So it's quite heavy. Another, I'll just do all the treats now that I got started on that I picked up the full pack of full-size uh, Snickers chocolate bars these packs are all are three dollars each so I got the Snickers the Mars bar uh, dark chocolate the bounty coco with coconut so those are three dollars are really good deal actually so I just thought they'll be nice with you know tea and hot chocolate well we watch the snowfall <laughs> And I got this bag of Twizzlers. You get 700 grams. <laughs> oh, my knees are so long. They're actually a lot of fun to eat. Uh, we like to sit on the couch and watch a movie or something and, and each have one of these. <laughs> it's just a silly thing that we do. And uh, the price will be on the screen because I can't remember how much they were. I'm in need of some socks. Uh, my socks disappear in the laundry somehow. <laughs> so, and I wanted socks to wear with my jeans, just very casual. So I got this pack of two pairs of socks, which I think is a pretty good deal. Uh, they're just little crew socks, you know, to wear with jeans in the house. And I got them in this navy blue with their little bit of purple here. And this one has a, like a little print. I think it's, I'm not sure what it is like little it's a little symbol of some sort just yeah dollar fifty two pairs of little socks they're a blend of course polyester cotton blah 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 so cheap socks and I had to pick up some charging cables USB charging cables I got two in the three feet and one in the ten feet foot uh, 10 feet USB uh, micro USB to lightning because I have Apple products I have iPad an iPad and iPhone and I had to buy some new cables because I did it again I left 
cables behind in Phoenix. I am so bad at forgetting my cables and plugs in hotel rooms when I travel. It's just, or in the airports, I'm really, it's really bad. And this time I left behind actual Apple product cables and plugs. So yeah, it's like, ugh. that's my wallet hurting, okay? It's like, yeah. So I got these ones at the dollar store. These, uh, the three feet are 350, 350 for three feet. And well, they had a better deal. Uh, 10 feet of uh, cable is $4. So it is a better deal, but they don't have 10 foot cables that much. And we were three ladies wanting one of these. So I had two in my hand and the third lady who was with her friend already picked one up said oh i wanted one of those too and her friend said oh well that lady took two you know so i gave her one because i felt bad i was like you know what here you have one we'll each have one at least so i already have the three foot cables so i did that now the other thing i bought is the adapter that plugs into the wall i only bought one i do need to replace two, three actually because i left three of them behind the Apple ones, yeah, the expensive ones. Um, but these say they work with most phones. So I don't have a good feeling that this is going to work with Apple products. I think I might just get a little message that says not compatible. And I, yeah, I might short and I don't want to short my phone for sure. So I'm not too sure if this will work. If anybody has bought these and used them successfully with iPhones and iPads only, not the Android, uh, then please let me know in the comments below because they're four bucks a piece. At four bucks a piece, they are worth it if they work, but if they don't, what's the point? So, um, I picked up these little cute little wood bunny cutouts. That's a pretty good deal. 24 of these little bunnies for $1.25. Very good price for little wood die cuts. And trust me, I work in the craft industry. I was at Creativation. $1.25 for 24 of these. You won't see the big companies selling you stuff at that price. I got this cute set of stickers. I just thought they were really, really cute. Uh, they're puffy and they are by Twin7. There's a sheet for $1.25. I, I just like the cute, the kind of bunnies seemed a little silly and cute. So got that. Try not to buy too many stickers because I have so much, so, so many already. I have so much of everything, so crazy. Uh, this is new. They have these colored skinny sticks, 75 in a pack. The brand is Horizon. I'm not mistaken. Horizon Group USA. Uh, oh, it says visit us for more projects. They have a Facebook slash craft project ideas.com site. So uh, if you're looking for some ideas, go check out the Horizon Group USA. Facebook slash craft, one word, craft project ideas .com. I don't know. I have no relationship with them. I'm not affiliated with them, but I always like to find free craft ideas. So they say make your own funny creations with these colored skinny sticks. So I'm going to open one. I like this bag. It is resealable and it's a very... Like heavy duty plastic, which is a nice, nice touch for um, packaging. You know, when you when you buy a product, if you can seal it back up, I think that's good value. And what was the price of these? It's gonna be on the screen because I can't remember. So these are the sticks. They're not. See, this is how thick they are. Give you an idea. They're not. They're not too thin. They're nice. They can easily be cut, of course, or broken. 
Um, but yeah, for crafting purposes, all sorts of little DIYs, lots of little craft projects. They come in a multitude of color. So I have no idea what I'll be doing with these. Yes, you could use these as a stir stick. These are much sturdier than the wooden stir sticks we buy because these are not stir sticks. But uh, if you need to stir something that's really goopy and, you know, heavy, this might work. So that is new. Another new to me item, although I have a feeling I've seen this before anyway another horizon group usa i mean this might be a new brand uh in dollarama um yeah it's from the u.s is this set of beads bead assortment storage tray it comes in a nice case nice storage case and I think this was, it was three or four dollars. Again, I'll put the price on the screen. This was the only colors, the only set of, co only set, only color set they had. They had several of these. I don't know if they come in other colors, but this is what was at my store. They're just uh, plastic beads, you know, nothing too fancy, but great for crafting, great for jewelry making with uh, kids. So, yeah, I'll just get a nice assortment. And here, and I'll show you on this one, this side you have these like leaves. And yeah, these are leaves. And you have flowers and just a nice assortment. So, got that. And another crafty item that is new at uh, my Dollarama on uh, this one is by Crafts, the four Dollarama. It is metallic foil sheets meant to actual not the broken flakes the sheets so you get 10 sheets in here for two dollars so i got gold and silver because that's what i saw at my store not knowing if there was a mix in the bag it was hard to tell and it says here it's not edible see but it is good to know that because this is not the type of foil that you can put on chocolate and stuff and be edible. So here's what it looks like. It's actually stitched together, which is a nice touch. Um, oh, wow. And it's well, oh, it's the nice stuff too. Okay, this is the nice stuff. Okay. And I don't want, I don't want to ruin it. Okay. This is the nice thin stuff. It has a protective, I don't, I don't want you to do like I did, a uh, protective plastic layer on the top. It is separated by the little sheets. And yeah, so when you see the pack of silver, it's all silver. And when you see, I'm assuming the same thing for the gold. When you see the gold one, it's all gold. Yeah, it's all gold sheets. And so it's the nice stuff, people, for $2. Wow, that's an excellent price, really. So, uh, yeah, for doing gold leaf or silver leaf work, yeah, very, very nice. So I got a few packages of that because I thought it was such a good price. Now, this is new in uh, my Dollarama. They had a lot of these. They are storage jar sets, again, uh, by Crafts for Dollarama, and they are plastic, they are acrylic, and you get two, four, six, you get eight jars. They had taller ones as well. I just took these ones, and I debated as to whether I should buy more storage jars, because goodness knows I have so much in storage already, but I bought them thinking I'll regret it if I don't, so this is what they look like. They're very nice acrylic with a little metal lid. Uh, so I got this. I'll show you compared to... So this is a spice bottle that we can buy at Dollarama. So this is the height and this is the jar. So it gives you an idea. But they, like I said, they had taller ones as well. The taller, bigger ones and smaller packs. So they had different sizes of these. I just chose 
to, to buy this one for now. They hold six ounces each or 175 milliliters. So they come packaged like this. And this is what they look like. So you need storage jars. They say it's craft. They don't say food. They're not dishwasher safe. So I'm assuming they're not food safe, but I don't take my word for it. I have no idea. So that, and oh, this is not a craft thing, but I thought, um, I wanted to see what these were like. Swispers, cleansing cloths, smooth, soft, and lint-free sheets of 100% cotton for cleansing and makeup removal. Use as a disposable washcloth with your favorite facial cleansers. So basically it's, it's like a thick Kleenex, but for your face or thin washcloth. And I just thought, well, this might be something, I just want to try it. Um, oh, that's what they are. Yeah, they're like a thick tissue. I don't know how well they'll withstand water and soap, but I'm willing to give it a try. And yeah, just stick, you know, a few of these in a little baggie when I travel might be practical to have so i got that and like i said there's 24 in the box and i'll put the price here and uh last but not least that i held from dollarama were these rama design dressing containers there are 18 of the little containers here you they hold 60 milliliters each they don't have ounces, and um, and they have the lids don't. Oh, the lids do have some writing on them. I thought they were absolutely flat. So uh, again, just for some storage of stuff, and also I I cho I got them from the kitchen section because I thought they would be good for actually holding dressing and stuff uh, when we have. We're making salad dressing and we have leftovers and we want to keep some for next day's lunch and you know so i got i got this or for my husband to bring to work then you know we can throw it out and it didn't cost much because this is a dollar 25 for 18 of these little dressing size cups but definitely these are usable for crafts which uh, i know a lot of people are using this to store their drills and and yeah, so I know about that too, so that, but that's another video. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for Dollarama haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something interesting and uh, I hope that if you're in the Ottawa area, area you oh. are staying home for the next couple of days because apparently we're gonna be snowed in. So, uh, oh, I have one more item. I found this foot file and yeah this is new i thought the design on the back was really pretty it's plastic and it has just like a thin sheet of the you know pumice stone thing so i don't know if it's gonna last long if it's good quality but for a dollar fifty i thought i would give this a try and yes that's it stay warm people uh be safe be crafty uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks so very much for supporting this channel. And I'll see you later. Bye.